Welcome to my very special review today, where I'll be looking at a uh, J.I. Joe comic from the two-figure comic pack from the 25th anniversary. Um, this one actually came with the uh, the um, Crimson Carter Soldier with the from the Fred series, as well as Scarface, the Cobra Officer. Um, and this one is, as you can tell by the artwork, it's got the Fred series Crimson's Carter Soldiers on the cover with uh, Cobra Commander right up there in the next line. You can see at the top, you see the uh, J.I. Joe logo, the 25, uh, 25th anniversary logo right up here. And uh, if you come down, you see uh, 32 and a half a day in the life of Springfield. Um, so as we go into this, go into this comment, you see, you see He's a uh, brief um, wording of what this this uh, comic's all about, where it talks about how Springfield is a uh, was a typical American town with the typical mix of people, till Cobra moved in and turned it into a stronghold, and a uh, ripcord enters into um, the city of Springfield disguised disguised as Sartain. Which leads the GI Joe team to come and strike the uh, the town of Springfield, where Doctor Mindbender actually becomes Doctor Mindbender and uh, creates the ultimate military commander, Sepetor. And uh, as you go into see the pictures here, a couple of the scenes from the comic. And if you're it in, starts out with this boy hopping on his bike. His mom's yelling at, at the door, telling him to, uh, reminding him about his doctor's sister, his appointment. Apparently, this kid's name's Adam. Uh, and he's like, you know, he wishes he could forget his doctor's appointment, but that's appointment. You flip in, the rest is, the rest is what you see him ride down, place an ice cream truck, fire station, where they typically, they use that, uh, dry humor of, uh, where's the fire at? You know, see him running through train tracks. You know, and how he wants to talk about how he wants to be on a train leaving Springfield, running to his buddies, and uh, all those kids hit, you know, hit run down by a car. Cops see him, tell him to be careful, and then come in and. Cop starts jumping on the driver, as we see, he turns out to be, turns out to be, uh, Scarface. And, uh, so Scarface turns around and says, you know, he need, doesn't need to remind everybody who's taken up in the back seat. And they realize who's back there. So, obviously it must be somebody important. By this point. And I think it's kind of obvious of who it is. You know, so they start harping on the kid. So the kids apparently still head into where he goes to an arcade. Since this is his final destination. And uh, when he runs into somebody, he's telling him, telling, uh, telling him he's late and how, how uh, Dr. V wouldn't, you know, if the old Dr. V were still around, he'd be in the doghouse. So Adam's like, yeah, yeah, okay. You know, whatever. Goes, goes down to the supply closet down these set of steps. Then we lead into a Star Wars advertisement. We flip in to find out to see uh, the same vehicle that almost hit uh, Adam on his uh, bike pull up to the town hall where Scarface is actually letting out this individual who's got his face covered. Out of the limo, walking into the town hall. You know, uh, as he's walking through the building, the uh, guard always slips up and calls him, almost calls him who he was, to his uh, coworker, the coworker in a business suit. You know, nudges him, tells him uh, not while he's uh, incognito. So this uh, mystery individual goes into this uh, men's room with a. Which turns out to be an elevator shaft. <laughs> then, 
the Dardaways at the bottom of the shaft. And he's this mystery character actually puts on the uniform. I think we actually know who this guy is now. And then now we're back at the uh, at the arcade in the basement where Adam walks down to Professor Apple or Professor Apple who's actually trying to uh, build the um, has his computer desk into the system which is actually a couple pages back we actually see it go back a couple pages because I missed this where uh, Professor Apple has computer desk from Dr. V's uh, Dr. V's old computer system and uh, Adam has to upload everything onto the software so here we go back to the where I left off so Adam re remembers he's got his dentist appointment so he goes looking for his dentist appointment and as he's riding his bike it's like ironic because he passes by the four uh, 18 wheelers which actually kind of look like Optimus Prime in vehicle mode. So Adam gets to this just a uh, broke uh, medical complex so he can go see Dr. Binder about getting his teeth done. Goes in and here's Dr. Binder. Wish everybody should know who this guy is by now. This is where he has, he talks about this uh, brainwave scanner he has to try to ease pain of his dental patients. And uh, Adam suggests that he tries the, uh, the brain machine on him. So Dr. Binder, or Dr. Binder says he couldn't do it, so he's going to perform it on himself. First we come back over here to uh, that one room. Where you see Cobra Commander in the building with his with his uh Cobra officers there. If look the page here we're at uh with Destro and the Baronets talking to Cobra Commander as he's getting ready for target practice. And uh apparently Destro and the Baroness is planning up something. Because the Baroness tells uh he's in the Destro say asking, Do you think he's aware of do you think he uh, suspects us yet? So, uh, next panel over, Cobra Commander tells Scarface to go down and find that, find the shapeshifter. They tell him he needs to have a word with him. And we go back to uh, Dr. Binder's dentist office. So he tries to uh, prize the, uh, the machine to his head, turns it on, and, uh, as he turns it on, starts out to where he's where it causes the effect. As we come back to Cobra's secret uh, hideout, we find Cobra Commander talking to Sartan. And uh, Cobra Commander does suspect Red, uh, Baroness, and uh, Destro on the plot, so he tells Sartan to follow him, to get close to him, to find out, find out what it is. So Sartan tells him, you know, he knows to trust Destro and because he don't want to get on Destro's bad side and what's in it for him. So Cobra Commander tells him about Storm Shadow and how he knows who killed his uncle. And if Sartan doesn't cooperate, he will tell Storm Shadow about his uncle being killed by Sartan. Then we go back to the uh, arcade where Professor Apple is still concerned over Adam. And uh, Bruce Springfield's got cameras all over the place. So he's back to Dr. Binder's office. Just as the machine is just blowing up on uh, Dr. Mindbender. And it crackles on the machine. The video crackles on Adam as he's talking. So uh, Professor Apple's apparently uh, thinking that uh, Adam's talking about a G.I. Joe attack on the, do on the, de the dentist's office. As we flip, we see an advertisement, a toothpaste advertisement for um for uh, the 25th anniversary as well as the vintage line. We see the old vintage snake eyes and the uh, 25th anniversary snake eyes.
come back in where here we come back to where Destro is actually forming the uh, alliance of the of the uh, cover officers to assemble to gather up to get this attack for GI Joe on the pending GI Joe attack. And you see him coming out and like, his tanks coming out the garages and weapons coming out the ice cream truck and whatnot. Rattler coming flying overhead. And, uh, and as you see, they get to the, uh, to the Brucka Medical Complex. Adam's outside saying, he's, no, Dr. Bind Dr. Binder is having a medical emergency. So Cover Commander is kind of furious this and, uh, and uh, as you uh, call the alert, which is Professor Apple, as you see him here in his Crimson Guard outfit. So, in disgrace, Dr. Apple and his daughter Candy is actually moved to uh, Staten Island, relocated. And as we saw from the brainwave issue machine, Dr. Dr. Binder transforms and becomes Dr. Mindbender. You know, as it concludes with with the statement of mistrust and suspicion in the cover of our echelons continues unabated. And then you get the PSA in the back. We're announcing it's um, it's funny because it's such a great kitchen fire, which is Roblox comes in just as advertised toys. As far as this comic goes, uh, no really significance with Scarface, no specific plot with him. There's no CGs at all in here with the Fred 7 series. So I really don't see the point of why this, mag is, this comic book was issued in, into the two-pack. But uh, other than that, the artwork was good, the story arcs was good. I think it was very fit. But uh, hope to see y'all this weekend as I do Stalker. So see y'all next weekend. Hope you enjoy it.